Stanley Furniture with Adam Tilley. Adam, why is everybody so excited about Stanley all of a sudden? We've been really focusing on design, scale, and finishing, and we've just upped the level of product. We really like the improved scale. Great. Things are not so big anymore. They're comfortable, but they're not enormous. I don't think you want eight thrones around a dining no. table. It's all about a casual conversation, a relaxing spot. So. Exactly. Well, your finishes have really improved. Finishing has become a core competency for us. Mm -hmm. We've really, really invested in our finishing capabilities. I love this. Yes, uh, this is a beautiful gray horizontal strie finish, uh -huh. and it's very dimensional. We like to say that our furniture looks great up close. What we've done is taken some silver brush strokes and some amber brush strokes and wrapped it horizontally around the case mm -hmm. rather than going vertically. Mm -hmm. So it kind of takes on a linen effect. Yes, uh, and it gives it good dimension. Thank you. It's really fun to play with traditional forms and then repurpose them in a lot of different ways with color. Like the old rice post beds. Yes. Taking them off the bed and putting them on a buffet and then painting them in a wild colors yeah. is something that this Charleston Regency group's all about. It's beautiful. So. Well, you know what I like what you're teaching people here? You haven't gone matchy, matchy, matchy. It's not overly paired up, it's interesting. Especially in the upper price points, it's all about connecting at an emotional level. Mm -hmm. You gotta love it, yes. and you gotta feel comfortable with it, and you gotta feel safe that it's not gonna go out of style really right. soon. So focusing on these timeless categories, but doing just little subtle tweaks here or there that'll make people really get excited about it, mm -hmm. that's what interior design's all about. Well, we love the way you've picked out the two tones. The lambs that you're finished, it's very neutral, but at the same time, it does have color being showcased. Mm -hmm. We're hand painting each one of these pieces with a model paintbrush. This lambs here finish kind of takes on a little bit of a tennis court green, sort uh, of. It's and crisp, it's traditional. Crisp. Right, exactly. Pretty. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes. We're crazy about that chair, by the way. Great. It comes in three colors. Yeah. And it's not too big. We need an ottoman. Uh -huh. Should have done an ottoman. <laughs> yeah. Next time we'll do an ottoman. That, that would be great. great. Yeah. And then you could put a pair of them at the end of the bed. Absolutely. This bench is just beautiful. Thanks. This is all silver leaf. We're kind of like anti-bling in this collection. Uh -huh. When we did the original silver leafing, it got really, really bright. We oxidized over it to just bring it down. We're calling it salted silver leaf. Right. So you can still see the brightness of that silver, mm -hmm. but it's very muted. It's beautifully um, done. Thank you. And at a great price point. It's a great example of how they can put three attachés together and cover the wall and how to pull it all together. We are really into double duty. Yes. Desks that can be dining tables, bookcases that can be bunched together, dressers that have media functionality, bed and benches that can be ottomans. We love all that stuff. Well, you get a beautiful piece of furniture, part of the fun of it is recreating how you're going to use it. And the other thing is people move a lot. And so if you're going to have furniture in another house, it all has to kind of be able to rearrange properly together. And this does it. That could be at the end of a bed. Those could be in sure. a room. It was not just about doing the city of Charleston. You've got the Barrier Islands, you've got Sullivan's Island, all that good stuff. So we wanted to bring that casual beach side into the collection. So this bed is kind of part of that inspiration with kind of a lighter scale. I found an old screen door in a rough, beat up part of town. So I've contemporized that and designed this fabric as an homage to that old screen door. This bedside table could work in a living room. Oh, sure, Perfectly. absolutely. absolutely. In fact, I think it's meant to be in a living room. Tell us about this chair. We've oh. done a little bit of carving detail that's in that Adams School. So you see a little bit of that foliage carving here on the uh -huh. arm. But doing it in a 90 sheen white lacquer is what makes it really fun. Yeah. And we put a drop of brown in that white, so it's just slightly off-white. Warms it right up, but yep. it's just a fun occasional chair. And then mm -hmm. you've got that beautiful horizontal finish again mm -hmm. on this chest. which yep. is available in a couple of different finishes. It's fun to think of all the different choices mm -hmm. you have with this furniture and how to arrange it. Are they dining height? They are. What do these retail for? Around 800 bucks, something like that. That's a classic at a great price. You know, we're always looking for a chair that's comfortable for a small girl so that her feet mm -hmm. can hit the ground yep. or a taller man. Absolutely. You know? We have the chair that you just mentioned, this host chair, mm -hmm. which is exactly that. It's an occasional chair, it's a dining chair, it's an office chair, whatever you want. Then we have this really cool caster chair. Uh, which is all bent rattan mm -hmm. and really kind of a nice sunroom club chair very contemporized but organic right we're crazy about that console 84 inches really long stunning. by 11 and a half inches deep so mm -hmm. it's just kind of a fun it's proportion. just right not overdone mm. thank you okay where's that cool lacquer chest we're calling it a bachelorette chest 
I was in Charleston, I was walking down the street, mm-hmm. and I saw this church. This church has this beautiful red door. So I talked to one of the historians down there, and he said, you know what that means when a church has a red door? It means the building is paid for. So that church has had a red door for 350 years. Good story. And they've repainted it every couple of years. And so we've even put a little brush stroke in there so it mm-hmm. looks like, you know, an old so paintbrush. Is it kind of a lacquer on. or is it just a high gloss? It's just a high gloss finish. It's mm-hmm. a paint finish with a, with a 90 sheen. What well, the, a 90 sheen lacquer. What's the retail on that? 15 dollars 15 That's a lot of look for 15 99 Solid brass hardware. All lost wax cast. Made the old way. Just a beautiful piece. It's all finished on the inside. Piece and that color is just arrest me red. Thank you. <laughs> and it's paid for. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah. yeah right. Okay.